So the inspiration for making my talk um, really came from the desire as a scientist to want to tell stories. I've been a, an avid reader my entire life. Uh, I noted in my Living Histories talk that I am a child of a librarian and I love books, but I also love to think about how we tell our own stories. And so for me, the genesis of my Living History talk came from thinking about the different kinds of books that were important to me during my intellectual development. And in fact, one of the first books that I thought about was that uh, child's biography of Marie Curie. Um, this one made the final talk, but I wanted to highlight on the right several books that didn't quite make the final talk that are nonetheless very important in how I think about my work and what interests me and even how I developed as a physicist. So the first of these books is Hermann Hesse's Magister Ludi. This is also known as The Glass Bead Game. And it's a novel that focuses on a, a master of a game that's mathematically abstract. And one way to read the novel is to talk about how his interests over his lifetime shift from the abstract game that he was originally trained to play towards more practical, towards thinking about implications for the world. And I think as somebody who started out very interested in mathematics and became a soft matter physicist and perhaps even somebody working closely with other kinds of engineers, this story nicely encapsulates my own journey as well. A second book that I think is just critical for almost anybody working in soft matter is Howard Berg's Random Walks in Biology. This is one of the first physics focused textbooks that starts to explain topics that are extremely important for soft matter physicists, but through a beautiful lens that's focused on their implications for biology. And then finally, I want to highlight um, a book that I still love, even though I don't work in quantum mechanics. This is one of my undergraduate quantum mechanics textbooks by uh, by Shankar, Principles of Quantum Mechanics. And I loved this book because of its mathematical formalism and the clarity and lucidity of its thought. And so thinking about how I constructed my own talk, it really did start from a list of books and from thinking about the ways that both scientists and other types of storytellers construct their stories.